And in another crime-related story, police this morning raided the house of former Attorney General Anand Ramlogan's maid, Savi Ragbir. According to Mrs. Ragbir, the police raided her Palmas Park house in search of guns, ammunition, and money. During their search, Ragbir said police detained her son for being in possession of a joint of marijuana. Ragbir said she believes the police appear to have a clear agenda and doesn't understand why her home was searched. Mrs. Ragbir's son appeared in court this morning. Well, the election fire has begun as the Prime Minister and leader of the People's National Movement, Dr. Keith Rowley, spoke on the recent case against two former UNC top officials. Dr. Rowley explained the effects of corruption on the nation. You would have read the newspapers that two public officials got into difficulty for something called $1.4 billion. Those lawyers, all of them who are feeding in that trough, they ate up in five years, two years of medicine for the hospitals. Well, he went on to stress that wrongdoing can take away the fruits to which citizens are entitled. And if you understand that, that is what corruption does to a people. The money is spent. The documents might show it's properly spent, but at the end of the day, the owners of that money, the people in this case, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, would have been deprived. 